So this is problem 22 from the summer week three homework. And the first two are pretty easy. Uh, I wanna focus on the, the second and third. And I really like having a picture here to help me figure it out. So for part three here, I'm gonna draw a card that is red and a king. So looking at the options here, uh, the red cards are all below this line here. And the kings are uh, in this column, but I only want the red ones. So I only see one, two cards that are red and a king uh, out of a total of 52 cards. So if this question would accept a fraction answer, which it looks like it will, then I would just simply put that it is two out of 52. When you click on one of these problems, pay attention to whether it asks for a reduced fraction or not. Uh, often I don't mind uh, an unreduced fraction in probability because probability is a measure of uh, our belief whether that something will happen. And to measure that belief, it is usually in the numerator, whatever favorable thing we're looking for, divided by what the total number of outcomes are. Uh, favorable is red or a king. I see two red kings here. Total is there's 52 cards. So that's a great answer right there. The next question says red or a king. Now in, in regular language, when we say or, it's exclusive. Like if uh, my wife says, hey, for dessert, you can have cake or ice cream. She means if I choose cake, I can't have ice cream. If I choose ice cream, I can't have cake. In math, or is inclusive, meaning I could have cake, I could have ice cream, or I could have cake and ice cream. So you could think about the or as and or. So that means I want a, king, a card that is red or a king, but it could be a red king. So in this case, I'm going to use my highlighter. So I want all of the red cards. Right? So there's 13 and another 13 of those. And then I want all of the kings. Now, by selecting the red cards, I've already counted those two kings. I don't need to count them again. So for this particular problem, as far as the red cards go, I see 26 red cards. Two of them happen to be kings, so I just need to add in these other two kings. So cards that are red or a king, I believe I see 28 cards that are red or a king. All right, the 13 red hearts the 13 red diamonds, and then these two other cards that happen to be kings. The cards that happen to be red and a king were already counted when I did the red cards. So I think for the fourth answer, red or king, I see 28 favorable things, red or a king, out of 52. So let's go see what the online homework system thinks about that. So down here, I believe there are two red kings out of 52 cards. And then cards that are red or a king, I believe there are 28 of them out of 52. And, uh, oh, that's a good point. When you are typing these things, uh, if a red, box, a red message pops up, it means something's not right, don't hit submit yet. So, I might as well do the other one. There are 26 out of 52 red cards and four out of 52 kinks. All right, how do we do? Oh yeah, it's a good day. 